Joining us now is Tulsi Gabbard, former 2020 Democratic presidential candidate and former Hawaii congresswoman. Tulsi, um, uh, the number we've approved for Ukraine weapons uh, and aid is, is $70 billion. So I said seven. That's wishful thinking. So Americans are seeing their finances hollowed out here at home as we ship billions abroad. And the war looks like it's going in the wrong direction. How, how do we reach any conclusion except this is the ongoing humiliation of America in our foreign policy once again? Yeah, well, Laura, you're, you're bringing up such critical points here that the American people need to understand the seriousness of the situation that the Biden administration and leaders in Washington have put us in. So we go beyond kind of the day-to-day -day battle updates of what's happening in our proxy war against Russia in Ukraine and actually take a step back and focus on the big picture and the great threat that we face, which is the reality that this war is continuing to escalate. President Biden himself says he has no idea when or how it's going to end, but we know where this escalation leads. It leads us closer and closer to the brink of a nuclear war with Russia. Uh, we just saw the other day in New York City, I'm sure you saw how they put out a PSA telling residents of New York City, hey, here's what you do in the event of a nuclear attack. Uh, go inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. I almost fell out of my chair when I saw that PSA because it's insane. They're treating this as though we're like back in the 50s and 60s when, you know, teachers are telling kids to go under your desk and you'll be protected from a nuclear attack. It's crazy. The reality is President Biden, members of Congress, leaders in our country, the wealthy, they will have a safe place to be in the event of a nuclear war that they are behind <laughs> causing, while the rest of us in, in America and Russia, people around the world, will be decimated from this event, and yet they treat it as though it's nothing. It's nothing to take seriously. They're even making plans on how they can continue to wage this war from an underground bunker. This is the seriousness of the threat that we face and, and how crazy and disturbing it is that President Biden and people in his administration can be so nonchalant about Cavalier. how they are the ones who are continuing to drive this forward. Cavalier, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, tonight, the New York Times, Tulsi, is reporting that Ukrainians say they need faster shipments of long-range artillery and other uh, sophisticated weapons to blunt Russia's steady advance. So the Pentagon now is concerned about potentially depleting our stockpiles in the coming months. So the word depletion is just becoming too common for Americans to hear these days. Our finances are being depleted. Our weapons are being depleted. Yes. Our artillery stockpiles, be our oil is being depleted from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves. Our spirit is being depleted by this administration. Yeah, you're, you're completely right. And, and that's where this trip that President Biden is taking now, he'll soon be going to Saudi Arabia, really exposes what a complete farce his whole autocracy versus democracy foreign policy is. He's saying, hey, we've got to go and get help to wage war against Russia and uh, in order to save, quote unquote, democracy. And I'm going to go talk to a bunch of, of autocratic dictators and ask them for oil and ask them for help to be able to do it. We see that with Saudi Arabia, a, an Islamist autocracy. We see that with Turkey, uh, another guy who wants to be caliph of his own new um, you know, caliphate and Ottoman Empire, who's guilty of genocide against the Kurds. There, it, it, it is, it is uh, a sham. It is a lie that the American people need to see straight through and hold leaders accountable for that lie and for the cost that they are bringing on to the American people and, frankly, to the world the further they escalate this war. Yeah, Mohammed bin Bonesaw is going to demand a lot for any oil that he gives us, but I bet he gives us nothing. It's going to be like the Godfather. How's nothing sound to you? That's what he's, that's what he's going to do. Uh, Tulsi, it's great to see you tonight, as always.